Moscow Shedimietovy Airport has plenty of duty-free shopping, even an Irish bar where you can bide away your time. But all that gets old pretty quick. Just ask the Kamalfar family. They've lived in the airport for the last six months. They agreed to an interview away from security in the back booth of a terminal cafe. Nobody can stay here for one day. We sleep on the floor. Here is very cold. We can't sleep. Everybody go, come, go, come. And we, we can't take shower. We, every night we go to the toilet and we take shower in the toilet. Zahra Kamalfar, her daughter Anna and son Davud live on the floor above the Irish bar. But they prefer the floor over a plane back to Iran, where Zahra Kamalfar fears jail, or worse, awaits her. Please, I don't know who is listening. When I speak, but people rushing is good rushing. <laughs> CNN could not verify Kamalfar's claim she was jailed in Iran for her opposition to the government or that she fled Iran while on furlough from jail. A spokesman for the Iranian government told us it is unaware of her case and the United Nations determined they do not meet refugee criteria. But the UN says conditions in the airport are appalling and that there are many more like Kamalfar wandering the concourse. One was there for nearly three years. The Hollywood blockbuster The Terminal, modeled on the real life story of an asylum seeker in a Paris airport, inspired improved conditions for refugees in airports around the world. But the UN says conditions in Moscow got worse, not better. Twelve-year-old Davud has now been in the airport long enough to teach himself a little Russian. I just ask people what things are called and memorize it, he says. This week, an American law firm began applying for political asylum on their behalf. I think it's difficult for her even to find such a lawyer uh, because uh, she has to stay at the airport. In the meantime, the Camelfars take another lap around the terminal. CNN's Ryan Chilcote uh, joins us now from Moscow. And, and Ryan, first of all, happy Thanksgiving to you. I certainly hope this holiday uh, is turning out a little better for this family. What's the latest? Well, the latest is uh, rather, rather, rather actually rather grim. Um, the night before last, they were set to be deported, and uh, the younger daughter, Anna, who's 17 years old, basically tried to commit suicide in order to avert their deportation. She did not succeed in committing suicide, so that's good news, but uh, she did uh, succeed in, in averting the deportation. They basically tried to forcefully... Uh, load the family onto the flight to Tehran. There was a regularly scheduled uh, flight to Tehran the day before yesterday. Uh, but the daughter was uh, vomiting so violently they decided to, to call that plan off and uh, reluctantly, according to a couple of the eyewitnesses I spoke with, give the family medical attention. So they are, for, as far as they are concerned, they are happy that they are still in that airport. Uh, in, and not on the plane back to Iran, but there is still no resolution of their, of their situation. They are still in that airport. So and, and Ryan, tell us again why this is happening to this family. It's a very good question. Uh, Zahra Kamalfar maintains that uh, she was in jail in Iran and she was uh, furloughed from jail. She was in jail, as she said, for her political activity. Furloughed for jail for a couple of days uh, when she fled through Turkey, uh, and Moscow to Germany. Now she says that she was kicked out of Germany and asked for political asylum three times in Russia. That's the only part of the story that we've been able to verify. Mm. Uh, we know that she's been here for 19 months, 13 months in a deportation center that Russia had that was closed about six months ago. It was actually the first floor of a hotel right next to the airport. Uh, the new owner, however, kicked the refugees out and closed the deportation center. So all of the refugees, or would-be refugees, people looking for a political asylum status, got kicked back out of that deportation center into the, uh, into the airport. She's yeah. uh, waiting basically some kind of uh, political asylum, and she hasn't got it yet.